Alrighty, so before we get into this aisle video, I wanted to show you guys the entire concept that was just released for the Magna Raptor that you had seen in one of the previous videos. I think the last video I did actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun with this video. You don't even know. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have some serious fun with this video. Just, just <laughs> oh man. So, anyways, this Magna Raptor concept, which I think is absolutely gorgeous was created by a Hollywood concept artist. The, the name of the artist is R.J. Palmer, actually, and this is the DeviantArt page that they have. I'll leave some links in the comment section of this video for you to check out and do your own stuff with, but I'm going to zoom in on this and just look at the incredible detail. You can see down here, too, R.J. Palmer signed it, all that stuff. You can see his uh, DeviantArt down here, too. I'm assuming you go by he, because that you're a dude in my books now. <laughs> Assumed a gender. But it looks amazing. We got to see the, like, we finally get to see the whole thing, and I couldn't release this to you guys. Well, now I can. And it looks amazing. It's on the Jeep that's been crushed. I think that Jeep was probably destroyed by, I wouldn't say it was the Magna Raptor that did that, to be honest with you. It was probably something else. And you know the Magna Raptor itself has been delayed a little bit. It is currently postponed a little bit. Just a couple months or so. But the Utah Raptor, as you saw the animations, it will be getting some extra stuff. And I have some stuff to show you, actually, to do with the Carnotaurus and that stuff. You, want, you guys actually told me, like, the Carnotaurus um, had some uh, uh, relation to the Ceratosaurus, I think. Something like that. You guys explained it to me. But you also saw the animations with the Utah Raptor in the last video. Now, in this video, I do have something, I think, to show you for the Carno, or was it for the Rex? Let me just take a look and see. Welcome back to the aisle. We're going to have a ton of fun. I'm clapping because this video is going to be amazing. You guys are going to love it. Tr just trust me on this. Leave a like if you do enjoy it. And this video, I think more than ever, would be the greatest benchmark to see how much you guys actually support what I do here on YouTube and this and that because I... Boobies, basically. That's what I'm gonna just boobies. There we go. So, anyways, give me a second and then we will move into the other stuff. All right, so I've got a couple of these things to show you, and then we are going to get into some very, very fun stuff. So, bear with me if you want to see this. This is going to cover the Rex stuff, actually, uh, and the trike. The trike will have a gore attack, and there's also weather effects coming to the game where rain and snow will be viable, I guess. Snow will actually collect on top of a creature if you stand still long enough, and rain will also make make a creature have like a sheen like it actually is starting to drench the creature. I'm gonna let you watch this. Dondi is the one commentating on his Twitch and you can find him over at Twitch TV slash uh, the Dondi or what I'll leave a link in the description of the video anyways whatever you guys can go over there and check it out and uh, then we get into some stuff. Any opponent that runs directly into its face such as a Tyrannosaur or otherwise um, smaller dinosaurs will just get swatted out of the way and big ones will just get impaled on the horn. Aside from that, the trike's going to be getting a charge that basically, much like the Carnotaurus's run, which once it gets adjusted, won't have much of a turning radius, but if they charge and they hit something, that's going to be the end of that creature, um, including charging and hitting each other, because everyone's asked when... when... And then there he is dry. If it was truly raining, raining. Now, mind you, I don't have the heavy thunderstorm bit in here, but you can see where the rain itself goes over the scale. So here's your... Still being played with, but dinosaurs can get snow on them if they stand still for extended periods of time. Mm. Alright, so I am currently playing as my favorite creature, as you guys know, the taco, and I'm going to do some herbivore stuff because, well, why not? I don't even know how many points I need to actually progress in this server, but I don't really care to be honest with you. Um, you guys just saw the water effect for rain, you saw snow effects, and you saw, well, you heard that the trike itself will have a gore attack that is going to be devastating for any large creatures. Now, I want to move into something else that's a little bit weird with this video. And, uh, 
some stuff like that. But first, let me check my progression stuff, see how low the progression actually is. And then we will move from here. I like I might be a talk with this whole video. I have no idea because I don't know where to find the plants on this map except for like one area because I die see a thingy up there. Because like I just don't play herbivores anymore. I, I don't mess with herbivores that much. I think it'd be kind of fun though to be like a dry or something and like try and survive like stuff trying to kill me. Does that make sense? I didn't really wait around for that, but yeah. Uh let's see. Uh Dryo is 30. Ava is 15. I don't even know the progression trees. Like, that's my problem, too. A theory would be kind of cool to play as. The shant would be kind of cool. Uh, Chimerasaurus and then the Puerta 2 are also low. Okay, so I'm just going to go get some points with this guy if I can ever find some. Now, let's move into some other stuff about my videos and uh, what I'm actually doing here on YouTube. And let's talk a little bit about clickbait, too, and, uh, and some of that stuff. So, uh, it was brought up to me on my own fan Discord, actually, that people were talking about me in the Isles official Discord, you know, yada yada, with some clickbait shit. And here's the thing I don't understand. Why why do people talk shit when they have absolutely no idea, apparently, of what the meaning of clickbait is? Like, I would understand if I was doing a bait and switch or something like that, but I mean, no, what I'm doing, I don't, I don't consider it clickbait. Like, it can be clickbait, quote-unquote clickbait, because of the fact that it makes people want to click on it, the way that the words are, are made, or sentences are structured, or the titles are structured, and the thumbnails, but... My buddy IGP, Indie Game Promoter, uh, he, he explained this the best. And when it comes to a thumbnail, at least, it should be, or it is, a very vivid depiction of what the video is about. And I, the best thing I can use is Subnautica, where there's this thing called the gun, the array, and you can disable it. Well, I did disable the gun. I disabled the array in that video, and, like... The, I thought of like, well, how can I make it look like in the thumbnail it's disabled? Because there was absolutely nothing I could do at the time. The model wasn't in. Nothing was really done with it to change it. There was no way for me to show that it was disabled and still interest enough people to watch that video to make it viable to make the video. Because ultimately, you make videos to get views to make money. You want to make money so you can continue doing this as a living. It's how I do things. It's how... This is how I pay the bills at the end of the day, and I enjoy doing it very much. And I am in... Okay, hi. Yeah, and I I enjoy it a lot. Like it's it's really good. It's it's a great position. Okay, Z. hi. I, I, Z. Yeah. Okay, let's let's. Uh, okay, I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy. He's gonna get the booty. Z. Jukes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the little the little chirp. Uh, don't trust him. Ooh, he's trying to kill me. He can't get me. I'm I'm the juke master. Bite the shit out of you. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna juke to the left. Nope. Not gonna get me, good sir. Can't get me. Just gonna keep... And now to the right. Oh, no. He Wait, what? I wasn't even anywhere near him. That's not even fair. See, this is why I hate being a taco. You're completely defenseless. But, um, I needed a way to make it so... Oh, wow. This looks amazing. I needed a way to make it so people would still be interested in seeing the video because the thumbnail has to be different. So I said, well, screw it. What I'll do... Is I'll have the gun cracked in half, like it's disabled. It vividly describes the gun being disabled. Sure, the gun wasn't actually cracked in half in the video, but the title of the gun being disabled was accurate. I disabled the gun. I deactivated it. And then the thumbnail was a very vivid explanation. Like, that right there could be classified as clickbait to a little bit more of a, a, an extent. And that's probably the biggest, the biggest extent I've ever used on my channel. Simply because the gun was actually, like, split in half and there was, like, electricity and stuff like that. Like, that's that's how it was. But it was to draw people in. It's like a marketing tactic to try and do. Which, if you're a content creator, you need to listen to what I'm saying. Because, obviously, I'm doing something right in this case. It doesn't really follow through, though, if you don't make the videos, like, accurate. Don't, don't be a scummy clickbaiter and, and do that stuff. Now, the issue that I have is that people are just like, oh, all capital titles. Clickbait. Which is stupid. It's a marketing tactic. There's lots of people that use all caps in their titles. It's, it's eye grab. Like, it catches your attention. You see all caps, you're like, oh, what's this? And then you read it. And then, like, if it's interesting, well, then you, you go to it or not. Another example that was used in the Discord was, hey, look, the fish, yada, yada, yada. Something about the fish video that I did with, like, fish being in the aisle, which it was very accurate. Fish were technically not added to the game through the aisle developers, but a mod brought them into the game. There was a mod that had fish swimming through the ocean. I thought it was cool. I had never seen fish in the aisle. So I said, hey, I'm going to put fish in the title because that's kind of cool. Like, maybe they'll make it so you can eat those fish in the future or something. And, well, 
stuff like that basically like it, it's for some reason that was clickbait but there were fish in the video they were swimming around in the ocean like it was cool i was chasing them around as a ostrich or whatever i couldn't eat them they weren't impl implemented by the devs themselves but there were still fish there so like people tried to rule oh, 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 oh. people tried to rag on me for that which was entirely incredibly stupid in my opinion the magna raptor video i did a little while ago a developer of the isle the game i'm promoting and talking so highly about a developer of the game is just like i'm gonna shit all over your content because insert stupid shit here uh which i don't understand I, like I, I don't understand the argument because the end of the argument was just stupid as shit i'm not even gonna get into it i'm not gonna say any names either but it was it was the stupidest argument ever about clickbait and low quality content and stuff like this video right here because i'm not really doing much i'm just trying to find progression plants and talking to you guys and ranting a bit because it's it's annoying as shit at this point uh we're going around just doing stuff like this video i guess in a sense is not as high quality as what i would normally like to do but it's just because of the structure of the video everything else i do i think it's pretty decent quality like i'm not complete total shit quality i mean i have a pretty nice microphone i have good commentation skills i have a good voice you guys don't mind listening to me when i'm articulating words and explaining things to you the videos themselves have the content every single time whether it be a picture which i outline and i show in the thumbnail it is just a picture or you know, something else like the Magnarex, which I get exclusive access to that stuff, and I show you guys right off the bat. Like, for some reason, a lot of that is clickbait and not quality content, which I don't, I cannot wrap my head around. It's mind-boggling that there are people that don't do YouTube full-time, which YouTube is incredibly com uh, competitive, by the way. It is a very competitive job. People are out to get your job and take your views and take everything and just be in the position that you're in, which I don't see it as a competitive thing. I do it because I love it. I love doing this. I like that people will listen to me and enjoy the videos. At the end of the day, I don't care how much ad rev I make. At the end of the day, I don't give a shit. I, I genuinely am here because I started YouTube when I was at the worst point of my life and I knew what it was like to be down and out. That has been the facility that that's what facilitated this channel i was down and out and my life could not have gotten any freaking worse so i said screw it maybe i can do something to make other people happy that would make me happy and well i'm i'm a hell of a lot happier now compared to two years ago when i had first started youtube so it's not about the ad revenue and stuff there's competition so i have to use some kind of you know um creative way to describe the thumbnails when i make them or i have to you know use uh different titles and stuff for like structured seo but every single time i've made a video the content has been there what people have wanted has been there this is just black at this point i hope the sun comes up i can't see anything but you guys get where i'm coming from like i think the argument it's like it's like people are coming at me and they're like trying to explain how it feels to get shot and like how badly it hurts but they've never been shot Unless someone's been in this industry and they know the ins and outs and they know everything that happens with a video and views and like marketing tactics and stuff. I feel like unless it's a very obvious boobs in the thumbnail, bait and switch, like just something horrible, it's not clickbait. Like no matter what, it's all clickbait. Newspapers do it, you know, like it, your, your television commercials do it. Like it's all clickbait in some way, shape or form. But for whatever reason, yesterday it was all about me and clickbait and all kinds of stupid shit, which I don't understand because like people spend time watching my videos i have the watch time there to prove it people are enjoying the videos which i'm i'm overwhelmingly happy about i'm happy people are spending time it's not like i get like two thousand views and and like of those two thousand views you know they spent like one second each watching the videos I'm, I'm getting like up to 10 minutes each time someone clicks on a video watching it so like the watch time is there as far as i'm concerned i'm justified in making this argument right now if the watch time didn't back it up i wouldn't make this argument it's quite simple to be honest with you and i know i've been ranting for a while but like this shit gets under my this gets under my skin because like i'm i work my ass off every single day to make videos and keep you guys up to date on the aisle the aisle is my favorite game i could just as easily drop the aisle and go to subnautica and and get even more views my subnautica videos and my subnautica series is the strongest thing i could ever possibly upload but i love this community and i love this game so much that i don't do that i don't cover subnautica exclusively or arc exclusively or, or Sar sarian exclusively where my sarian streams are some of my most popular with a thousand viewers coming no, I do The Isle, which is also very popular on my channel, but I just have this crazy love for this game because it's very well made. I've watched it go from its infancy into what it is today. But to have a developer come down on me publicly in the flippin' Discord 
and be like, I would rather no content than your content or whatever. That was the stupidest, most arrogant thing you could have ever possibly said to me. That was ridiculously stupid and it was a bad move, as far as I'm concerned at least, because I mean, I religiously cover this game. I enjoy the game, I promote the game. If I see something bad in the game, sure, I'll tell people that are watching. But I mean, ultimately, I always have fun when I play this game. I just like it. It's just enjoyable. I, I like showing you guys new things. I like being the first to be able to show you guys, hey, look at this, it's so cool, the Rex just ripped something in half when, whenever that could happen, or hey, look, it's corpse dragging, or, you know, I could talk to my buddy Dondi, the, the, the main creator of the game, and be like, yo, dude, can you tell me some stuff? Oh, shit. <laughs> some stuff about the game, I couldn't even see the freaking ledge. Oh, God! You get the idea. It's frustrating on my end. I've been a taco this entire video, I know, and it's probably boring as shit to watch. This is more or less me ranting. I want to hear your thoughts back on the stuff that you had seen, though, uh, for the water and, like, weather effects and stuff, snow, um, all that stuff, because it's going to be cool when we see that in the game. You know the quality is going to be there. It's going to be great to look at either way, and it's going to be a good addition to the game. As for me... And this whole clickbait thing, what I'm doing isn't clickbait. I'm not doing something that's like, hey, look, it's this, and then, like, completely swap it out for something else or, like, have put, like, tits in the thumbnail or something, and then, like, there's no tits in the video anywhere, anywhere which is, like, something I, I've never done. Uh, no, wait, no, I, I lied to you. Uh, in one ARC video, I did that because there was a new mod that I covered, and it was kind of funny, so I showed you, and everyone had their little laugh. Ha ha, it was, it was great, but I don't know. It's It's pretty annoying, and... I think people need to sit down and start googling the term clickbait and shit before they start throwing it around like it's some kind of some kind of valid statement because I mean like I said it's just like describing how it feels to get shot but you've never been shot before you just don't know what it's like and you just don't know like what the after effect of that stuff is now it doesn't bother me like it never bothers me when other people call me out on it and stuff like that or like oh clickbait insert clickbait here this and that and this and that no it doesn't bother me because like i know the video content is there i know every single time i make a video i make something that you guys are going to want to see some cool stuff like that's that's what i do i make sure the content is there i try not to clickbait as now, granted there are times where i do it worse than others i'll admit that because i get a little bit too creative with the thumbnail like that subnautica video which is a little bit too creative but it was still like the, the body of the video was still there um uh, you guys you guys you'll understand i know you guys will understand you watch the videos i know you guys like me uh and I appreciate the support. You guys, no matter what, are always going to come first. There's no, it's not going to stop me from doing what I'm doing. Anything I'm doing here on the channel is going to continue doing. It's just going to keep going. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. There's too many people that, that enjoy what I'm doing right now. There's too many of you that are supporting me and are in my corner and just like, yo, you rock and shit. And I'm just like, no, man, you rocker. Chick, you rocker. Trying to not be gender bot. You get the idea. I need to end this video because it's so fucking... It's, it's mine. It's, it's just... It's frustrating because I'm giving these videos my all. I spend endless hours every single day scouring for information and trying to cover game updates and stuff. And I don't like it, especially when the game when a game developer comes back at me and like, oh, this and that and this and that. But guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. I think likes and dislikes on this video obviously are going to say more than anything on any other video. So if you do genuinely enjoy the content, like it. If you think I'm doing something wrong in your opinion, dislike it. I just want to hear back from you guys. Uh, if if I'm going to grow as a creator, I need to hear back from the audience, basically, is what I need to do. So uh, let's have a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart in the comments section or something in the likes and dislikes and all that stuff. That's it, guys. I will see you in the next video. I'm not playing a taco anymore ever again.